Hey up everyone, it's the Archer Panda back on Seopolis and yeah we've had a little bit of a redecoration so you'll notice we've got a roof I've moved my uh, water production into here my organic fluid should I say cactus, reeds and bamboo it's slow going but we don't need massive amounts so it's all fine um, I've had these up a little while I think I showed you last time but all that's nice and handy there on this side we have a roof we've got our smelter which I've got to make a little bit bigger this organic water does go into the uh, sea tanks which is going to make cooking them a lot easier and all I've been doing at the minute is just melting down or oh. I've got lava production well started so what I'm going to be doing is piping the crushed rock into here like before but then using a mechanical pipe to pump out of here and into the smelter so I've got constant flow of lava automating the crushed diorite and stuff that's going to be something else to work on but our cobble gens are here, so I've got this one doing the sand and the red sand. This one doing everything else, including the smooth stone. Definitely need to get some size upgrades into these. But at the minute, we're backing up on a few things. But that's all good there. I have got a little basement here. So when I start piping things, my, this could be my pipe run. Uh, a bit of automation, a bit of passive stuff in there as well. Upstairs, I haven't fixed this yet. Uh, really should get on with doing. Got some more bait out, I've got some cows out. I need some more beef, so I'm going to be breeding those things soon enough. Chickens are doing wonderfully. Uh, got some more eggs. Let's see if we can hatch some more chicken. Hey, got one. Well, We've got one extra chicken, so I'll spool things up. But our roofs open up these two new rooms on the roof, on the top. So, what I'm probably going to do is turn probably this one into a barn. So that I can you know, get the bait, get some animals, move them into the barn, and then use that for breeding, getting more animals so that I can get meat and things. Farm's doing quite well, keep forgetting that I've got that I need to keep harvesting. Uh, which goes into just one, any of these chests in a minute. I still need to sort out the storage. Haven't got that yet. Um, got these working away, but the uh, thing I really want to show. We have got a bit of crafting to do to get some quests done. And that involves making some eggs. So, come on another cow bit we need some more cows. We've got sheep bits. We've got rabbit bit. We've got parrot bit. We could do with a couple more turtles because I lost the one upstairs. And these, I've got one for donkey. That's going to be for horses. I need a llama bait, which I need to be for. I need three of these. So that is all things I'm going to deal with a little bit later on. Not something I'm going to sort out yet. I'm going to start getting animals back in the go once I've got me barn built. Uh, but that just gives us a few more boxes here ticked. So, this is where we want to be at, Overworld Matter, which is made in here by smelting a half bucket of organic water with one tin and one clay. Now, one clay is one clay ingot, so two buckets, four tin, one clay block. Four buckets, eight tin, 
two play blocks. So I, if I do this, uh, get this mechanical pipe from in here, configurator, and here's what we're going to do. The beautiful thing about these, being able to put the water in these tanks, is I can set this up. So that's not going to go into the chute, is it? That do fluids go into a drain, not a chute? Yes, they do. Dang it. Right, we need to swap that for a drain then. At some point, for now. We'll just have to do it the old fashioned way, shall we? So if I have to get a bucket, it'll not go in there, but if I right click the drain, it will go in. So, two, three. Four buckets of organic water. Two clay blocks and eight tin. I just put four of those in. This should net me a healthy amount of the overworld matter. Um, I'll just go and replace this tank. filled up. So let's grab this one and I've got another one in here somewhere. There you are. And that immediately filled up. Well, <laughs> it's going to be easy to get this stuff for the smelter then. We have got a hundred and I don't think we're going to need very much to be honest. A hundred and sixty blocks. Well, let's get pouring. I could do with making another casting basin and putting it here, to be honest. Um, yeah, knowing gets just the blocks. Well, I've got some more copper, some more bronze, more nickel, more constantan. <laughs> there we go, let's just take them all out. That has just net us a couple of these, hasn't it? Yep, got the alloys. 64 copper to get that one. Uh, 64 overworld, I think we'll manage that. 32 sea lanterns, which we need to make prismarine for, which is overworld matter in seawater makes prismarine. Yeah, we might actually end up making a metric ton of this. Yeah, I could probably done with this having a smelter all on its own. <laughs> right. This is going to take a while. But. With overworld matter. We can move on to the bucket of seawater, which is seawater on a wooden barrel over some other world matter. So let's grab a barrel from over here. I've got one of these somewhere. There you are. And you know, of all the things I haven't got, a water source is one of them. Take a bucket of water from here, can I? Yeah. That is annoying. That is a mob stuck under the ground. Because it's one of those TNT mobs, the head just sticks out and it's annoying. I can't do anything about it. It really bugs me. But, what can you do? Uh, let's... Yeah, let's just stick it here for now. So, 
of a world matter. Barrel. Water. Let's turn into seawater. And then with the seawater, I can make prismarine. Which I can use to make coral. I can use to make... Yeah, coral seeds which come from sieving these in a waterlogged sieve. So, a waterlogged sieve, I'm guessing, is just putting a sieve underwater. Oh, I'll have to give that one a go. All these different corals. Hmm. Well, the prismarine is going to get us the lamps, which is the main thing that we're after here. Where have we got? Uh, bucket of seawater, which needs to be ceramic. There we go. Right, so I could do with that automated. Which we could do here. Kind of. Yeah, I could do it here. So I'd have to use mechanical pipes and logistic pipes to pull the stuff out of these. But I could shift these up so they go down rather than to the side and then out the side instead of below for the chests. And then I could put other world matter under one of these and have one water, one sea water. That sounds like an easy enough job. Uh, this otherworldly matter though if I sieve, sieve it in a normal sieve I get a lot of things including iron, lead, redstone, lapis, prosperity or, uh, shards, gold which is definitely what we need right now. Uh, is this an ally with anything else? Nope. Just use it to make the blocks which Prismarine us. So if I so you put this in here, yeah. and it uses up the water as well. So we need to make sure that's yeah. So I have to convert that to an automated. Uh, for now, though, let's get some of this sieved. completed quests. Uh, a time when I definitely need to start looking at getting automation. That uh, storage should I say, but uh, yeah, iron, lead and aluminium is now available. halfway through. So coral, I can come back to that. I can set the automated prismarine up to make that, that's, make that a lot easier. Uh, automation, we do need to get into the automation before we do too much more. But no, iron sieving leads to aluminium ingots. Lead leads to lead ingots. Iron, also leads to iron ingots, which get to the solar cooker free smelting and smell items with the power of the sun okay that's cool and crafting calculates for the mass and an iron mesh which is molten iron onto the flint mesh when it's in the basin gold ore silver ore there's uh, casts and electro Oh, universal. What are these? Pipes. Interesting. Very interesting. Automatic compressors. Rationing compressors. Lapis, redstone blocks, electrum, pipes, gears. 
So obviously the electron is going to lead into the machines. Yeah. So the electron is going to lead into there. We have got a bit of ocean exploration we can do now as well. That just depends on redstone dust and iron ingots. So we're almost at the point where we can start getting to intentionally going to places. Uh, the electrolytic separator requires constant bronze so that create a gas burner so we can have infinite energy through the gas burner actually, infinite RF. I should have probably looked at this a bit sooner. Um, we can't get to the until we've got obsidian. So we're definitely not going to the end. Right, let's get these built. And then we can... I'll set up the actual storage area. It'll be a load of drawers to start off with. Um, but I can get that all set up. And then... If we've got time, we might make a couple of machines. But for now, you're 29 bucks. And I yeah, still got most of my life left, so we're okay for now. Let's have a look. Uh, this is when I realised I can't spell. Here we go. So the auto sieve it does require some of these, one of these glass. We've got plenty of sieves. We can, I think we've got some left. The auto hammer. There we want the heavy sieve. Which we'll do a quick look one. So, we need plenty of these logistical transporters, so let's grab a few of these ingots. And head over here so we've got space. Here we go. So, these all require logistical pipes which require cinnabar dust. So, we've got plenty of them. I'm going to grab some of this nitro as well because now we need that. So, duh, 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 duh. this logisticals. I am going to need a bunch of these, so I'm just going to grab a stack. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I need a seventh one, because that's going to form part of my storage system. Um, and then we need heavy oak sieve. I need a sieve, nitre, oak logs, and two of those. So. Got the nitre, some oat logs, and then we need some sieves. Which I know I've got at least one in here somewhere. There you are. Well, I need another one. Yeah. Poppers. These sea creatures are being very noisy today. <laughs> Let's get up here out of the way. Right. So let's quickly make another sieve ready. And then we need heavy oak sieve. Now what this does is it works just like your normal sieves, but only for compressed items, not individual. So for example, let's just grab a single flint mesh here. Throw you in. Uh, right. The red sand won't work. If I make that compressed red sand, it works. 
and yet, generally speaking, it was less efficient to do it that way. It used to be. If that's changed, which I hope it has, it would make it so that it's as efficient as those sieves. This would save a lot of time. And you could save, I mean, if I had 15 like here, that's 15 times 9 instead of just 15. That's like, what, 135 at once instead of 15 at once? Yeah. That would be nice. Uh, right, so we need some glass for the auto safe. And this is why I need a sorting uh, 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 storage system. <laughs> so, auto save and auto hammer needs a compressed hammer. So, I need some of that andesite. 9 times 2 is 18. Pressed hammer, auto hammer, ding. And I think that's a job well done. Let's grab some of this coal. And let's plop you down here for now. One auto save, and one auto hammer. Now, what we do need to tell the sieve what level of mesh we need to use. So we we'll use flint mesh. And then I could quite happily just grab a stack of red sand, throw it into here, feed this some fuel, and you see it sieving away. Now, I wonder if this still works. It used to be the case. Yes! You can feed the auto sieve and it will make it a little faster. Oh, let's get on my copper. So, what you can do then is feed sand straight from there into here and then feed that out into storage. This one, similar idea, similar method, but instead of it being a sieve, you get a hammer. You don't need a hammer for this one. If we were to get, say, you can hammer the cobble, can't you? Well, now you can have all this because it comes to gravel. So if we were to throw that in here, and again, it gets a little bit of power. Problem is, all the power is going to the sieve at the minute. Because we've only got the one pitiful generator, and it is pitiful. Uh, and yeah, not making another one. To be honest, if we're going to make another one, I admit that mechanism one. But that is how that works. The hammer, see there, it's working away slowly. Extra hammers in here does increase the speed of it, but yeah, it only accepts, I'm guessing, diamond hammers. But that turns the stone into gravel. All in all, two things are going to make automation very, very easy. Especially when it makes things like the crushed diorite 
because what I can do is just have diorite fed straight into the hammer and then the hammer move it to the crucible over there and turn it into lava. So, that was that entire quest line done as well, wasn't it? Because that was the big fan set up. Can go in there. They can win there. <laughs> there. They definitely need their space to sort it out. So, where is it? It was here, wasn't it? So, let's go down this road, shall we? So, I need turtle shell, copper, England. So, a turtle shell. I need the four, five scoots get from turtles haven't got those yet but just for the sake of the mission I mean just for the sake of should I say it, this being easier let me make an electrolytic separator now what this does and to be honest this is something that is going to go down here You pump water into this and it will turn the water into hydrogen and oxygen. The scuba tank here will fill with oxygen and with the scuba tank and the scuba mask you've got air to breathe until it runs out. The hydrogen, if pumped into the gas burning generator, can be used to make RF and quite efficiently as well. So that will be my source of power for my auto hammer and auto sifts. So that, how do I get the water? I have to use the the, uh, the floppers to get water in. Then yeah, so this, the first thing I want to get under here is power production. But Coral, We're not going to do the coral yet. I'm going to do that between episodes. I'm going to get all this stuff together because that's just uh, actually the waterlogged sieve. We didn't try that, did we? Let's grab a few of these. Let's grab one of these. Where's my bucket? I might not need my bucket. If I was to put this down here, is that now a waterlogged sieve? It's a waterlogged sieve of not give me. Oh, coral! So, yeah, this is your waterlogged sieve. And it is horribly inefficient. Of the coral I've got, I need to put that in seawater to make a coral block. And there's five different colours. Yeah. Let's see if I can get the last one here. I'll see if I can make some. different colours. Right. Let's grab a bucket of water. Throw it into there. And yeah, I've got horn, fire, brain, tube, and there is tube, brain, bubble is what I'm missing. Which I mean, they've all got a 10% chance to drop one. Uh, with the flute, it's still 10%. Still 10% with iron, 10% with diamonds. It's just really rubbish odds. But, 
that is Pawn Coral. Dropping Minecraft sea, Minecraft Coral into the sea makes it into different coral. Okay. Well, I do have a little trap, uh, I say a trap door, a hole here. Oh, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Stop sinking. <laughs> uh, where's my hole? Oh, there it is. Come on, in you go. Oh, into seawater. Oh, okay, right. Let me make another book of seawater. I mean, if this is Ark and Cheese, this, this quest line, I'll be quite happy, actually. <laughs> uh, let's just make a little... While I'm here... Let's just make a little scruffy. There we go. Yeah, not pretty, but that gives me a chance to make a quick fob to the two. What I should do as well is put a slab roof on top of here. So you notice these have got a slab roof beneath the floor above. It stops the water from dripping down from the floor above it. Right, here we go. So, take the seawater out. Pop it there. Put that in and then throw the coral into the air. Oh yeah. That becomes branch coral. Okay. And I'm guessing then that... I mean, if I throw this into here, it's not going to turn into a... No. Not going to do anything. But, that is a bit more coral. Minecraft, the wonderful game that's not all broken. But that's how we get the coral. Okay, so I've got some things to do. So, my jobs between episodes. First of all, I definitely need those turtles back. Oh! And I need some more beef. So we're going to get turtles. Grow them there. We are then going to realise I've got no space for anything because I like a bit of a uh, no skull. I'm just filming the inventory, everything. So let's just throw those in there for now. So I need to do this. Right. Grab these saddles. Throw those into here. One more. In here, we are going to make llama bait. So I need leather and a cow bait. That's why I made the extra cow bait. I completely remembered that that was a thing. Honest. Right. So that is a llama bit. And that is a donkey. <laughs> so two more quests down. Let's collect our C books. 24. We're now at 214, which means if we wanted. Oh, we still need to enter the Twilight Forest to get that. But we have got enough to buy that when it's available to stop the poison uh, when we go above sea level. 
and we could, if we wanted to, get a couple of sea, get a couple of wind turbines, generate power passively rather than having to get fuel, at least for now. Yeah, I've got, I think I, know I can do that, but for now. It's time, so do the usual things, hit comment, uh, comment down below, every little, every comment helps, uh, hit like, hit subscribe, you guys take it steady, have a good one, I shall catch you all later, bye bye.